Hello everybody. This is a video tutorial on how to do the rainbow project at home. So if you've signed up for a take home rainbow project, you'll be picking up uh, a kit very much like this, a take home container. And inside of the container, when you open it up, you'll find glue, small little bags of little tiny pieces of glass, which is called frit. You'll have a clear piece of glass, a four by five clear piece of glass, a paintbrush, a little spoon, and instructions. So, and on the instructions, you'll see the date that you need to return your project to the studio to be fired. Um, you can even give it back earlier than that, which would help get the materials back and ready for the next take home class. Uh, but that's the date that it's ultimately due. And then the next date is the date that you can pick it up completed. All right, so the first thing you want is to take your clear piece and there are two sides there's a rougher side and a smoother side you can work on either side but I like working on the smooth side I have a piece of copy paper on my table so that I can use that as a pattern and I can keep my table nice and clean and then throw this away when I'm done I'm using a sharpie marker fine point to trace my glass. Sharpie marker doesn't have to be washed off because it comes off in the kiln. So that's one reason why I'm using the Sharpie. Another reason I'm using the Sharpie is because it's thick and it gives me room for my frit when I'm drawing my rainbow. All right, so here's my piece of glass, the size that is my piece of glass. So now I'm gonna draw six lines curved lines that represent the color of the rainbow and there's red and I'm leaving a space in between because I need some area for my frit orange is yellow green blue and purple and if it's not exact that's just fine now, I'm going to place my glass right on top, nice and even. And the first color that I'm going to do is my red. So I've got my red in my Ziploc bag. I'm going to have that ready. And my glue, all this is, is clear Elmer's glue. Clear Elmer's glue also disappears in the kiln, so that's why we're using it. So you take your little cap off and there's already a hole that's been cut in the container and I'm just going to place my container down on the glass and run a line, very thin line, along my top curved rainbow line. So when I taught school, the way that I talked about glue, so we didn't put a lot of glue down, was I called it a snail trail and my snail trail just showed that I'm going to do a very small little line because snails are very small and they're only going to do very small lines. All right, so I got my spoon. I'm going to place it in my Ziploc bag and I'm just going to place it against my glue, not right on top, just around the curve underneath my glue line. So I'm doing this so I don't get glue on my spoon and I don't get glue on my glass just yet. So now I want to take my brush and push it into my glue line. You see that? So the only thing that really got glue on it this beforehand is my brush and my little frit pieces. And I'm making sure that all of these little pieces are in my snail trail of glue. 
one. I think those could fit right over in here. I'll move them up over here. Look at that nice little line of red. So what's my next color? Rainbow color, the next one is orange. So I'm going to take my glue, do the same thing, very little, that tip of the glue bottle is on the glass and I don't even need to squeeze very much. And if it moves a little red frit pieces, that's okay. Next color, orange. See that? Open it up, take my spoon, and I'm not putting it directly into the glue. I'm just putting it right next to the glue. Because if I got glue on my spoon and then I put it back in the frit bag, what would happen? It would stick, and I don't want to make a big mess. So I don't have to use all the pieces. I have some other left in the packet that I don't might not need. If I need it, they're there. And now I'm going to push it right next to the other. And look at, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. If you want to have a paper towel, um, that you could spray that or put that like a damp paper towel, put that under water and get a nice damp paper towel so you can, if you get your fingers with glue on them, you could push, do that, or you could even put the paintbrush and rinse it off in between your colors so the glass doesn't stick. Oh, here's another little piece that over there you can use your fingers you won't get cut what we did um, before we gave you these pieces the clear piece we ground it down ground the edges down so there are not any sharp edges and the frit has been fixed so that there really aren't any sharp edges on that too so you shouldn't get cut next color snail trail of glue you see that glue is a little bit wobbly that's okay don't worry about it Got my yellow, it's my next color. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I come to the end of my rainbow color. Okay, so I finished my colors. I was able to put all my colors on there. I don't have too many extra frit. I have a little bit of red left over, a little bit of orange. If you really wanted to put that down, what I suggest you do is if you have tweezers, that doesn't come with the kit, but if you have them, and you wanted to take a few and just place them in little pockets. Don't pile more than one layer. Don't pile them on top of each other because they are gonna fall off in your kit when you send it back. It's very important that you just do one layer of glass. So if you really want to use all the colors, if you have a smaller amount of colors, like by green, I didn't have as much, I'm gonna do just one line and really make it work with my rainbow the way that it is. There we go, I'll put that there. So you can play with it a little bit if you want to, but remember, it's nature. Nature's not made by a machine. It's not perfection. We don't want it to be look like you bought it at the store. You want to look like you made it. Okay. Feel like you want it to stick. I've got some hairspray and I'm spraying the top. And that goes all around every piece. And um, it any hairspray will work and it will lay the uh, glass down and it won't come off. So the next thing is you gotta put it back after it's dried, put it back in your container right in the bottom. Um, and you need to put your glue back. Please, please make sure that the top is on and you hear the click, hear this? That's so it won't get all over your project. Make sure it's nice and tight and put that on the side or on. You can put it on top so long as you're really careful. If your spoon is nice and clean bring that back put that back in please wash your brush off because that glue will harden on the brush please do that for me and make sure that it's nice and clean put that back in the kit now here's the amount of glass that i have left in my little bags um 
if you want to return that, if there's glue on this, if you've got this and it was pretty messy with glue, that's okay. Just throw these little guys away. But if there's no glue on them, I can really use them. So that would be good if you can put those back in the container. And I don't have that on now, but could you please make sure, very, very important, that your name, the little label that came on the top, is still stuck on top. Now, some of it is coming off, but make sure that it's on there because that's how I know who it belongs to. Lace that nice and bring it back to the gallery. The date is on the instruction sheet. Please keep that and put that on a calendar so you remember that it needs to come back on the date listed on the instruction sheet. You can bring it by before then, but that's the ultimate last date. That needs to stay with you. This, you can hang on to or you can throw it out. You don't need it anymore, but unless you want to come up with and do another rainbow project. Thank you so much for participating. We're looking forward to seeing all the rainbows up in everyone's window. If you can, hashtag Heritage Gallery RI with a picture of your rainbow in the completed rainbow in the window, that would be great. We would appreciate it. If you could put some positive feedback on Yelp, uh, that would be super. Or subscribe, go to my website and subscribe to and get information about upcoming classes or things that are happening at the gallery. So there are, I also have lots of classes offered at the gallery. Please keep checking online. You can sign up for these classes online or you can stop in and sign up. I have one day classes or groups of classes if you find that you really love working with glass. Thank you so much. Bye-bye and stay safe.